Can you see the uh, Aloha software? All right, okay. This is uh, the software, okay? When actually, when you install and then you start it, okay? Every time you start your Aloha, it will come with a reminder first, okay? About the Aloha limitation, okay? This limitation already been briefed, okay, earlier, okay? This is Aloha limitation regarding the low wind speed and so on. Okay, the model also, not incorporate the effects of particulate mixture terrain and hazardous fragment okay so just click okay this is the reminder so that you know if you have this uh condition okay so your estimation could be nearly uh underestimate or overestimate all right okay so click okay okay this is the text summary okay this is your input Okay, this is the tech summary. You have site data, chemical data, and also atmospheric data. This is your input. Okay, then there is no output. Why? Because you still don't make your calculation, and also your input is not complete. Okay, your input is not complete. So, the first step in using Aloha. Okay. After you start your uh, software, is to click on site data. Okay, you have your site data, and then location. Okay, the first uh, the first step during our analysis is our location. Okay, so if you see the location inside this Aloha is based on America. Okay, in US, all of these are in US. So we need to find out what is uh, our plan. Okay, so where is your plan? Anyone? Kan tadi banyak, hari tu waktu Viva, plan semua dekat mana? Kuala Terengganu, Kelang, oh ada. Okay, Kelang, saya punya daripada Kelang. Okay, so dalam ni tak ada Kelang. Okay, tak ada Kelang, tak ada Johor, tak ada Terengganu and so on. Okay, tak ada Sarawak. So, what you can do is you add your original place. Okay, where is your plan? You add. Okay, so, where is your location? Okay, let's say, kalau saya punya hari tu, saya punya case tadi, Nibong Tebal. So, Nibong Tebal. Okay, this is our, this is my location. Okay, my plan. Okay, I estimate my plant is in Nibong Tebal, a very small plant. So, is the location in US, not in US. Okay, once it's not in US, you need to enter what is the elevation, latitude and longitude of your point. Okay, where is it? Okay, so for this information, you can Google it. Okay, I try to Google. Okay, uh, usually in kalau yang ni paling mudah fallingrain.com. Okay, in fallingrain.com ada banyak information regarding the elevation and latitude and longitude for every place in Malaysia. So I Google, uh, I found out that Nebong Tebal. Okay, the elevation is only three feet. Ah uh, no, okay, the elevation Longitude, latitude. Okay, altitude. Okay, altitude is three feet. Okay, just three feet. Okay, so this is three feet. So what is the latitude? Okay, latitude is five degrees. Okay, five degrees and nine minutes. Okay, inside that website already state ah uh, the degrees and minute of the latitude and longitude. Five degrees and five minute north. And then the longitude is 100 degrees and 28 minutes. Okay, is. So is it? Okay. okay. 
So, what is the country name? Where is this location? Okay, Malaysia. So, offset from local standard time to GMT. How many hours? Okay, local standard time to GMT. Is it past 8? Okay, so you see, if you enter something wrong, or if you uh, have a wrong or doesn't know what is the value, you maybe try, okay, you try, try, masukkan saja. Sometimes the, the, the value is not relevant, okay, it come with this, okay, it, yeah, it will come with some notification, okay, your GMT offset is inconsistent with your East-West Hemisphere selection. Offset need to be positive for Western and negative for Eastern Hemisphere location. The only exception is if you are within 10 degrees of 180 degrees longitude. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. So this is Nibong. Nibong Tebal. You want to buy Malaysia, then you select. Okay, unless your plant is already in US, just throw select je lah. Okay, kalau tak ada, awak kena add dulu and then select. So, you see your location already changed to Nibong Tebal. Okay, ada yang nak tanya soalan ke? Okay. Okay, then you already have your location. After that, you can get your apa yang nak tanya tu? Okay, then time. Uh, three is requested to annotate the chat content. Okay, what is the website? Okay, website there. Falling rain. Come. Okay, this is the website, okay, fallinggreen.com. Okay. Then... Okay, side data and then you have, okay, Pre before that, side data, location dah, then building type. What type of your building? What type of your plan? Okay, single story, double story building, enclosed of your building. Okay, so maybe double story building and then unsheltered surrounding or sheltered surrounding with three bushes and so on. It depends on your location and on on your plan okay unsheltered surrounding okay i just choose double story building and unsheltered surrounding okay so this is the building location building and lastly time okay the idea of the time is because maybe you try to simulate the past accident okay for the past accident you choose a set set or constant time means you can back uh, going back to the previous year Okay, but if you just, uh, if you want to make a simulation or prediction, you can choose or you can going further uh, of your date. Okay, you try to estimate during the winter. Okay, so tu kalau luar negara lah, kalau tidak dalam Malaysia. Uh, Pen for location selection. Okay, wait, okay. 
So just letakkan what type ah uh, what is the date that you want that uh, incident occur. If not, kalau macam saya untuk hari ni saya try for that ah uh, for this time, okay? For this time, Thursday 30 ah uh, 30 April 11:54, I click okay. Okay? So this is the time of my computer. Okay? Tadi dekat sini, site data location, okay? Site data and location. So inside data, you have your location, building and time. Just look at your text summary. Okay. From your text summary, site data. So click site data, you can have your location, building and time. Okay. Alright. So habis your site data dah ada, you, you already fill all your information. Then chemical data. What is your chemical data? So set up chemical. Okay, chemical data is inside of set up of chemical. Chemical. Okay, then try to find out is it pure chemicals or solution? Okay, it's a very limited chemicals for the solutions. Okay, but for pure chemicals, it's actually quite. Yeah, quite a lot of chemicals. Okay, you can try. Find out your chemicals. Okay, so let's say for the for example, uh, where is we try ammonia? Okay, I try use uh, ammonia. Maybe the uh, this ammonia is being used in my plant. Okay, we have a storage tank for ammonia, or maybe my plant is producing ammonia. So I select it. if you don't have the chemicals inside uh, this uh, library you can add you can add your new chemical you name it give the molecular weight and then you fill in all this value what they are aegl1 what is their aegl2 boiling point critical click critical pressure put inside this okay put okay so kalau Kalau awak tak isi, dia akan keluar area lah. So, you need to fill in all the information regarding this information. So that you can have uh, your new chemical inside the library. Okay, so I just choose ammonia. So, uh, automatically I have my chemical data, ammonia. Okay. So I have my AGL, IDLH, and so on. This is all the boundary or the uh, level, okay, hazardous level for that chemical. Okay, you have your CS number and also molecular weight and bin boiling point, also freezing point. So this is uh, our chemical plant, okay, our chemicals in our plant. Then you can set up the atmospheric, okay. For Aloha, there are two types of input for atmospheric. One is using input station, uh, user input, another one using SAM station. But SAM station is the combination Aloha with another device. Okay, another device. So for our uh, plan design, we just use user input. So this is the atmospheric information that you need to key in. So it's up to you how you want to imagine the, the scenario during the incident. Okay, because you try to estimate if something bad happen in your plan so maybe you can have your uh, some uh, atmospheric data uh, at that place okay maybe in Terengganu what is the atmospheric data okay what is the usually wind speed around that area okay so example okay we put just try for 7 meter per second is their speed or meter per hour is up to you then when uh, wind speed is from Maybe uh, tahu is okay. Then the measurement height is either by man in three meters or in tower ten meters or based on your evaluation. Okay, how you measure this uh, wind speed? Okay, is either by uh, man or in tower. Okay. So I just put maybe in tower, okay, 10 meters punya tinggi tower tu, 
the we measure the wind speed is 7 meter per second all right so how about the ground roughness is it open country open water urban or forest okay i just put open open country or maybe you have your any uh, you have uh, you have your own idea okay just uh, fill in your input roughness okay then this is the cloud cover is it complete cover is value 10 partly cloudy 5 but in the middle of complete cover and partly cloudy is 7 okay it's up your it's up to you okay based on based on that area okay so maybe usually in Nibon Tobal we have uh, panas right okay something in around uh, partly cloudy okay partly cloudy in Nibon Tobal usually it's partly cloudy so it's pretty okay so what is the air temperature around here okay maybe 30 uh, 36 okay 36 degrees celsius okay 36 degrees celsius so automatically uh aloha will find your stability class okay so for this example automatically aloha find our atmospheric condition or the stability class in atmospheric condition is d okay but if you want to override it okay just click override and then put your stability class usually just uh, uh left it out what is determined by aloha okay this is d so this is input uh inversion height option okay remember the inversion okay uh ekc 463 okay dia belajar pasal inversion okay ada inversion ke tak ada usually kita letak letaklah inversion okay it is no inversion okay no inversion so what is the humidity medium or in the middle of wet and medium okay sebab tadi 36 degree just to put medium all right so we already have our atmospheric data we have our location data chemical data and also atmospheric data so now the only thing left for our information is our source strength okay macam mana apa insiden dia what is the source of hazardous okay what is the source of that hazard all right so data chemical data atmospheric data source data so source data is up to you is it from your gas pipeline is it from your storage tank okay puddle okay selalunya liquid puddle or direct just direct uh, source or direct hazard uh, means uh, mungkin dalam satu balang uh, emo, uh, ammonia tumpah macam tu okay this is direct or direct explosion okay it's direct fire is uh, is based on your uh, intention okay so i just use maybe storage tank okay so this is my storage tank okay it's either horizontal cylinder vertical cylinder or spear okay so maybe ammonia is inside this spear so you can either have your volume or diameter of your storage tank okay kan dah buat calculation semua kan okay so maybe you you already have your dimension so kalau let's say i don't have my dimension but my vo uh, storage volume is uh 500 okay 500 gallons oh no five say five thousand so five thousand gallons Okay, 5,000 liters. Okay, this is the volume of my storage tank. Okay, 5,000 liters of ammonia. So the diameter actually is around 2 meter. Or maybe your, if your, actually your uh, storage tank is 5 meter in diameter. So you got your volume. Okay, so just select okay. Then enter the state of your 
chemical. What is it? Tadi ammonia. So it's a tank contain gas. So the chemical start at ambient temperature. Okay. So what is the tank pressure? Okay, maybe 1.5. So, let's say awak salah masukkan nilai, okay? Kita tengok. Let's say you have uh, wrong information. You put your tank pressure is 5, uh, 5 atm. Is it okay? Okay. So, kalau 5 miss, dia still boleh terima dia punya uh, input tu. Maybe kalau dia tak masuk akal, okay? Let's say I put 50 atm inside the tank. So, you think? Okay, akan ada reminder okay your tank pressure your tank pressure value is unusually high okay do you wish to continue okay so cancel maybe the tank pressure is only 5 atm okay so you see you put your 5 atm pressure automatically uh, the aloha will calculate your amount of gas okay you want the data in kilogram. Okay, 0 0.25. Okay. Oh, no. 5 ATM is at 225, uh, 227 kilogram of gas. Okay. So, this scenario actually is the tank containing a flammable gas. Ammonia already. Okay. Ammonium is a flammable gas. So, type of tank failure. Okay. Aloha will try to estimate based on the situation based on your input okay so it's either two type of tank failure is either leaking tank or leaking tank but burning as a jet fire so you have two different scenario one you can estimate as a burn, uh, jet fire another one is is a leaking tank but the chemical is not burning and it escaped into atmosphere so from this uh as I, from this case okay case study you can have two different scenario one is a gas dispersion another one if you choose this it is a jet fire situation okay so you have your gas dispersion and also jet fire so i just choose uh, maybe for my first case uh, i make a scenario as a gas dispersion so tak ada burning okay tak ada ignition tak ada burning so the potential hazard automatically aloha will predict the potential hazard the potential hazard from flammable chemical which is not burning as it leaks uh, from tank is downwind toxic effects you have your vapor cloud flash fire you could also have over pressure from vapor cloud exp uh, explosion so you uh, boleh dapat you boleh mungkin berlaku ketiga-tiga ni atau salah satu okay vce flash fire and Toxic effect, okay. Uh, toxic gas dispersion. All right, click OK. Then, how that incident occur? Is it circular opening or rectangular opening? Sebab tadi kan kita, we already uh, identify it as a leakage. So, leakage is it uh, by rectangular opening, macam ada scratch, or circular opening, macam ada hole. Okay, so maybe this is a Hole, okay, circular opening. So, what is the diameter of that opening? Maybe 25 cm punya hole. Okay, 25 cm hole. Okay, is it leak through a hole or valve? So, kita dah identify is a hole. So, kita put hole. Alright. Tekan okay. So, you have your output. This is your first output. Okay. This is your first output. Okay. Slow semi pen. Okay. This is your output. Okay, leak from hole, then you have your internal press, release duration in one minute. Okay, so this is your rate, release rate at that hole. 
6.29 pounds per per second. So kalau awak tengok, oh what why my analysis in pounds? Okay, so pergi kat setup. Okay, under setup you have your chemical, atmospheric and source. Semua dah isi. And then calculation option. Okay, let Aloha decide. This is okay. Where is it? Calculation option. Display. Display option. Okay. Daripada display, find display option. Put it in metric units. Okay. This is metric units. Click OK. Then you see all your inputs and outputs in text summary already in in uh, SI unit. So 2.85 kilogram per second. This is the release rate. For your gas dispersion. So the total amount of release. Is 171 kilograms of ammonia. Okay. Then this is already the output of Aloha. So kalau awak tak visualize the output. There is it. Habis sampai kat sini saja. The Aloha boleh produce sampai sini saja output dia. But it's up to you how to visualize your output. So we try to display. And then. Trade zone. So you not display trade zone as a. Yeah, as a bad man. Okay. You choose your hazard. Okay. To analyze toxic area of vapor cloud, flammable area, or blast area of VCE. Kalau yang ni untuk VCE, okay. Untuk awak tengok how the blast area kalau ada berlaku blast. Okay, ada berlaku VCE, ada explosion. Okay, maybe toxic area. Just toxic area. Alright. So, kalau ada berlaku toxic, uh, berlaku uh, gas dispersion. Okay. Identify your boundaries. Okay. For example, for red zone, orange zone and yellow zone, you can, uh, you can uh, choose. What type of limitation that you want to use? Is either AGL, ERPG, PAC or IDLH. Okay, IDLH. So, maybe I try to change. I tak nak tengok AGL. I pakai ERPG. Okay, so all ER, ERPG punya boundaries. ERPG 3. Oh. Red zone ERPG 3. Orange zone ERPG 2. And yellow zone ERPG 1. It's up to you. Awak nak campur pun boleh. Okay. Because you are the one that will uh, make the analysis for this uh, figure. Okay. From this figure, you make your own analysis. ERPG 3, 2 and, and 1. Okay. Then only for longer straight zone. Click OK. Tara. Okay. So this is your output from Aloha. Sampai sini saja output from Aloha. Okay, toxic trade zone. Okay, so you also can have your trade at the point. Okay, trade at the point. Ini awak kena masukkan awak punya coordinate. Dekat mana yang awak nak cari the trade at the point. What is your location? Okay, you try to find which one, where is your location of your uh, point of interest. Okay. Awak ada point of interest. Awak cari dia punya lo uh, location. Exact location. So based on the location. Try to find the coordinates. Put in. Then you can see the concentration at that point of interest. Okay. So basically this is the output from Aloha. Alright. Okay. Now if you are producing just only this output. Okay, as you can read from the text summary. Okay, letak tepi sini sikit. Awak tengok text summary dia. Okay, this is the the result of this drawing. You see the trade zone. Okay, for Gaussian model, the red zone is up to 197 meters. Okay, so the red zone is for 197 meters from the point of Release. Okay, daripada kebocoran gas tadi, 
dia punya red zone dia sekitar 197 meter. Okay, mengikut arah angin. Kemudian dia punya orange, okay, the orange area is around 702 meter. Okay, while the yellow zone is 1.6 kilometer. This is the yellow zone. So, this is the dotted boundaries. Dotted boundaries ni, if your wind change, okay, so maybe this area will affect it. Okay. If the wind change, the the wind change the direction, maybe the the uh, this area will be affected. Okay. So to make it more meaning, okay. The uh, this output can be visualized more clearly. Okay. I will try to change. Okay. Stop sharing. Okay, wait, uh, just the last part of this lecture. Okay, then you open your map plot. Okay, dah siap awak punya aloha, jangan tutup. Aloha, just minimize and then open your map plot. Okay, you can open your map plot. Or even inside your aloha, you can explore or you can export it into map plot okay you can export it into map plot all right Is it so? It's <laughs> jadi slow. It's about multiple application buka. Uh, usually the, uh, including the recording and so on. All right. Okay. okay. From Aloha. Okay, this is our output and then click sharing, go to my plot. Okay, click sharing. Okay, from sharing in Aloha, sharing, my plot, go to map. Okay, you click into go to map. Okay, then you have your map plot. But you, you don't see this map plot because I'm just sharing Aloha 5.4. Okay, so I will open back my uh, map plot. Okay, can you see the map plot? Can you see it? Okay. This map plot. Okay. Is in United States. So just. Okay. Find where is your location. Or where is your area. Okay, move the maps. Okay. Find Malaysia. Okay, it's low skip. Okay, ataupun kalau nak exact uh, location, Okay. 
Okey, dia lambat nak move. Okey, wait, wait. Alright, okay. Daisy Malaysia. Okay. Weekly. Besarkan maps. Alright. Tadi mana Penang? Ni pun tebal. Okay. Okay, it's quite slow. Okay, this area is ni pun tebal. Okay, let's say uh, my plant is inside our campus. Okay, as you can see, USM Engineering Campus temporarily closed. Okay, due to COVID. Okay, so this is... Updated version of maps. Okay. Okay. Let's say this is okay at the center of USM of engineering campus is my plan. Okay. Okay. This. Okay. I'll start draw. Okay. This is my plan. Okay. Then go to Aloha icon. Okay. Go to Aloha icon. Set, okay, set the source point at the click point. So, we set, okay, we set, okay, this is the source point. Okay. All right. Okay, once you set your source point, then... You set, okay. All right. The very leg, uh, the legging, okay. Set the trade point, okay. So when you set the trade point, I can close the figure, ni. Okay. Okay, so you set, you set your source point. So this is, from source point, this is the previous your aloha output kan. Okay, tadi awak punya aloha just for kos, uh, kosong saja dia punya figure. Okay, plain, very plain. So sekarang dah ada, dah ada dia punya uh, maps. Alright, so... Sama ada awak tinggalkan macam ni saja, based on this map, or you can have a base map dekat tepi ni. Belah kanan ni ada base map, okay. Itu daripada Google Street, okay. So, you can change your your uh, maps, okay. This is Google Street, kan saya tukar jadi Google Satellite, okay. Sebab kalau Google Satellite, saya boleh nampak bangunan, okay. Saya boleh nampak the building around that area. Okay, then you can see this is the Google Satellite. Okay, so from this Google Satellite, with the inclusion of your outputs from your Aloha, then you can see the, how the dispersion of the gas or maybe the explosion can affect your uh, the surrounding. Okay, how the, the surrounding was affected by, by this uh, hazard. Okay, so you can change all the hazard. You can try your scenario with the VCE and so on. Okay, then if uh, even if you change your parameters in your uh, Aloha, then automatically your map plot also will change. Okay, if you change your wind of direction, then this map plot will change its direction. So it's still linked to your uh, Aloha. Okay, so you change your input in Aloha, you will see the changes in inside your your map plot okay so from this map plot then you can see where is the uh, the affected area okay as you can see if the at the center of this accident or this incident occur maybe the 
the surrounding around masjid uh, masjid suri yang pangan also will be affected okay as you can see there are also some some living area okay this is a school okay sk saujana and so on will also will be affected okay so this is the example how you can make your risk analysis for your plant okay so based on your plant and based on your chemicals you can estimate all of these uh, consequences okay so uh, after this uh, of uh, output it depends on your analysis how you can analyze all these uh, risks okay any question basically you can also develop this kind of uh, image using breeze but breeze is uh, a little bit complicated and it took around two or three uh, sub software or sub uh, toolbox okay to come with uh, the the consequence from your hazard okay because there is uh, there are breeze risk analysis uh, breeze uh, breeze risk analysis you have a uh, breeze uh, air modeling and so on so you need a few of a uh, toolbox okay to find your consequences from the hazards okay any question regarding aloha okay i will post uh, this video and I, will, I also will put uh, the examples okay from uh, aloha itself on how you can calculate another another hazards okay such as vce jet fire flash fire and so on okay before we end our class any question i think it's 12 uh, around 12 30 you can uh, start your class with uh, dr suzy all right okay thank you yoki okay ada lagi ada tak yang ada soalan kalau tak ada nanti saya akan upload uh, this video along with my slide and also some additional uh, materials okay so that you can refer uh, to this material as you can uh, develop your risk analysis all right if uh, there is no question okay thank you everyone thank you for listening thank you for responding okay